Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. The other week, I did a video entitled Stop Saying OP. And you know what? I got quite some backlash from that video, which is perfectly fine and dandy. I mean, I did actually say in that video that as a YouTuber, all YouTubers should be expected to be challenged, critiqued, debated, etc., etc. So I'm going to deal with that. In fairness, what I was trying to say in that video got taken completely out of context by others, and my overall point was totally overlooked in the end. Not to worry. My point in that video was that when a tank is claimed to be OP or broken by other YouTubers, it tells the player base, especially those newer players, that you will somehow have more success in those tanks to the point whereby skill no longer makes a difference. Now imagine my surprise when I then see a video by a far more successful YouTuber saying that skill really doesn't matter. That was kind of a uh, scratch the head, um moment for me. If skill really didn't make a difference, then believe me, the top players wouldn't be sitting with their insane win rates and their high damage counts. They have those because skill makes a huge difference. But what exactly is skill? Well, this is where it gets a bit complex. Because skill is not just about how well your fingers work, but is actually a multitude of numerous factors that, when combined, increase your skill level. Of course, skill includes how well your reaction times are, how good your and eye coordination is, and those physical type of attributes. But it also includes a hell of a lot of mental attributes as well. Take for example, every single tank review that will ever be done by any YouTuber will at some stage mention DPM. But what exactly is DPM? Well, it's great saying that X tank has the best DPM in the game or such things. But do you actually know or do anybody, does anybody bother to tell you what DPM actually is? Well, DPM obviously stands for damage per minute, but that is merely the potential of the tank, not what the tank will actually achieve, only what it can achieve. Now, if you have a perfect one minute game in a tank, you land every single shot you make, you hit iron alpha every single shot and every single shot pens, then you will hit the DPM. It's that simple. Thing is, not every shot will land. Not every shot will pen. And believe me, not every shot will hit its iron alpha damage. So, are you always going to get the DPM? Because it's rather misleading. It's nice to know the DPM, of course, but it's a fictional figure. You're better off knowing the reload time, the penetration of the class of shells, and the potential damage those shells can reach. Remember, just because a shell can do 500 damage doesn't mean it will, because it can actually do anything up to 500 damage. That's why the DPM is kind of misleading. Getting back to skill, however, there's an old but very true statement, knowledge is power. And one of the reasons why the very best players are the very best players, it's because they know not just the tank they are driving, but also the, t the enemy tank's parameters. If you know the armor profile, if you know the reload times, if you know the pen and the damage output, of your enemy vehicle, then you can tailor your attack to that knowledge, greatly increasing your chances. Knowing the maps also increases your overall skill level, because you know those great spots to go all down. You know those spots that make it difficult for those to shoot you when you can still shoot them. It's these little bits of knowledge that get thrown into that massive pot called skill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, there are tanks out there that are very friendly to play, more friendly than others. But don't let that mislead you. Because even these friendly tanks 
They require a modicum of skill to operate them half decently. I mean, let's take a relatively friendly tier X tank. Let's take the IS-4. I mean, it is friendly. It's a noob-friendly tank. It's got decent armor, decent mobility, decent gun, and decent damage output. It's not the hardest of the heavies in tier 10, but like all tier 10 heavies, it's not the easiest. You may feel rather chuffed you are now rolling out in a tank that is very friendly and comfortable. In the knowledge that skill isn't everything, and yet you get wrecked in half the time it took me to say that statement by a super duper unicorn pro player. Well, why? I mean, skill isn't everything, apparently. Well, quite simply, it really is. And whilst it's easy to say that skill isn't everything, and that rolling out in certain tanks will make it easier on you, that statement, that parameter, doesn't take into account lots of other things, like the enemy team, or even your own team. Let's say you roll out in your IS-4, your new friendly tier 10 tank, and you are a 52% win rate player, and the other six players in your team are 40% win rate players, with less than 500 battles. And the team against you is made up of super unicorns, all on 70% with 50,000 battles. You're going to lose. But yeah, skill ain't everything, right? I mean, you've got to take other things into account. And believe me, if you roll out against a team of pro players in the worst tanks in tier 10, in your noob-friendly tank, it ain't going to be much help to you. Skill does mean a lot. It's not just those physical attributes. So don't kid yourself. Thing is, and I have to say this a lot, knowledge of the game is so, so overlooked. And it's way more important than you think. And that is where the real skill lies. Every single player out there has the ability to gain skill. They really do. By getting knowledge by looking at the armor profiles, knowing the tanks, knowing the maps, and knowing what you can and cannot do. So before you sit back happily thinking that because some more successful YouTuber says skill ain't everything, that you can now roll out without any understanding of the tanks and the maps, just remember that very same YouTuber goes off on one whenever he gets a potato team and has previously made a big deal of low win rate players not willing to improve. But why do they need to? I mean, skill isn't everything. It's clearly overrated. Cod's wallop. Anyway, I've been Fujit. By all means, comment and everything below. I'm not trying to belittle anybody here, guys. All I'm trying to do is give you some hard, stone-cold facts. And the facts are these. Skill makes a huge difference in this game. And skill, therefore, is quite a big deal. Don't sit there thinking that you don't require knowledge or skill, because you do. And the more knowledge you gain, the more experience you obtain, the better you will understand the tanks. Not only the ones you are driving, but the ones you're facing. And believe me, you will start winning more games. Anyway, as I said, I've been Fujit. And until the next time, remember, it's a game, guys. Just a game. So stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield. And happy tanking at the end of the day that really is what it's all about having fun and being happy